Hello and welcome. Today we're working on the straight line method of depreciation. This is an accounting topic, so let's get started. Hello, my name's Jeff from Finally Learn, where I help you finally learn financial skills like depreciation. We're going to be using Excel today, so let's get started talking about depreciation and depreciation expense. We're going to use two examples, and they're both going to be really simple, but it'll help you understand what happens in straight line depreciation. Now, depreciation, there's two definitions. One is the accounting definition that we're going to use where we're going to allocate the cost of a fixed asset over its useful life. So a fixed asset would be machines, equipment, buildings, trucks, so on. Now, depreciation expense is the goal. We're trying to figure out how much to expense every year. And depreciation expense reduces income and income taxes, and we're happy about that. So I'll put a check. That's good. And we have several different methods. I've just listed these here, and we're going to do the straight line method here in this video. Other videos have the other methods. Now, the basic business definition, where you've heard depreciation before, is just any time the value of an asset goes down. So here we said reduction in the value of an asset. That is the business, general business definition. So for example, you might hear, well, if you buy a new car, then it depreciates $3,000 when you drive it off the lot. Well, that's just says it reduces the fair value of that asset. It is a, a reduction in the value. So remember, accounting is allocation, but in general business, that's just valuation. So the goal of the accounting is to figure out the depreciation expense. In business, we just say, hey, what's the fair value of this asset? Now, why do we have depreciation? Well, we understand that over time, these long-lived assets have wear and tear, it has use, it has age, it has obsolescence, and so on. So over time, we know we're going to have to repair or replace that asset. All right, so our first example. Let's say we have this truck that I had on the picture at the very beginning of the video. So let's have straight line depreciation. We're going to do it for a full year just to make it really easy. So let's assume this truck we purchased on January 1, 2021. The cost is 80000 and the salvage value is 10000 Now what that means is we think at the end of the useful life, which is five, that's years, five years, we think the salvage value is going to be 10000 That's what it's going to be worth at the end. Sometimes that's called residual value. So here's the formula for straight line depreciation. It's going to be cost minus the salvage value gives, and divided by useful life. Now this first numerator here, uh, the cost minus the salvage value, that's also called the depreciable base. So we're going to depreciate the cost minus the salvage value. So let's just plug in the numbers here. So we'll say 80,000 minus the 10,000. So we're going to depreciate a total of 70,000 and we're going to do it over a period of five years. We'll point to the five and divide that out. So if we take 70,000 divided by five years, that's going to be 14,000 each year. So I built a schedule, let me describe what each column means, and then we'll do the journal entry at the very end. Now, one tip, book value is the idea of cost, the original cost, minus the accumulated depreciation. So we're going to have a column that says beginning of the year, what is the book value? And then a column at the end of the year, what's the ending book value? We're going to calculate the depreciation expense. In fact, we've already calculated that that is the annual depreciation expense. So this is the annual depreciation expense. And then we're going to add that up. The accumulated depreciation is just the sum of all the previous year's depreciation. So it's the total depreciation if you want to think of it that way. So let's just start building this. 2021 is our first year and we've got five years. So 2021 through 2025. So our beginning book value is just simply our cost. It's on our balance sheet. It's on our books at 80000 Well, what's our depreciation expense? Our depreciation expense is 14000 And I'm going to make uh, that where it's absolute, put dollar signs in front of both of those, because you know that's going to be 14000 every year, 14000 
So our accumulated depreciation, we didn't have anything before, so our accumulated depreciation is just going to be 14000 So what is our ending book value? End of the year, it's on our books at what? Well, the original cost. Let's go back to the original cost. I'm going to make that absolute so I can copy that down. Minus the accumulated depreciation. So I'm using this formula right here. Book value is going to be the cost minus the accumulated depreciation. So after one year, what we have is 80000 is our initial cost. We're going to depreciate 14000 It grows total depreciation accumulated to 14000 Our book value is 66000 Now, I'm going to do one more row and I'll just copy it down. You'll see the pattern. The beginning book value for 2022 is that 66000 That's what we started with. Now we know that the depreciation expense is going to be 14000 every year. I'm going to copy it down, so I'm going to put those dollar signs where it makes an absolute. I can copy that 14000 down. The accumulated depreciation now is the preceding fourteen plus this year's fourteen, So that's going to be 28000 and our book value is going to be the 80000 Make it absolute here. Remember that's F4 minus the accumulated depreciation, so that's going to be 52000 We should be able to copy it down. Let's just do one at a time. So what's our book value going to be? Our book value is going to be the 52000 That carries forward. The depreciation expense we know is 14000 The accumulated depreciation is 28 plus 14. That's 42. The book value should go down by 14, or 80000 minus 42 gives us 38000 so let's keep going, and I'm just going to copy the next two years because you see the pattern. So what happens is it's 14000 every year. The book value is going down because our accumulated depreciation is going up. Our book value goes down to 10000 Let's check the total depreciation expense. The total depreciation expense is going to be 70000 I use the sum function. I, in fact, use the keyboard shortcut. I'm on a Mac, so it's Command Shift T for auto sum. If you're on Windows, that's Alt equals, and you can just sum up a column without having to type in the formula. So the total of these 14,000s is 70,000 total. And that was, remember, our depreciable base. So what we've done, we've allocated the cost of the 80,000. We allocated all except the 10,000 that we wanted to keep as a salvage value. And so this is our depreciation for years one through five. So what would our depreciation entry be? We would say depreciation expense, and it's going to be the 14000 And what is our accumulated depreciation? Well, it's going to be 14000 every year. We're going to make this entry five different times once at the end of each year. We're going to make it the end of 2021 all the way through the end of year 2025 okay now this is a a simple example because we purchased it on January 1st what if we purchase it on a different date and the first year is a partial year so let's do that one the next one everything's the same except we purchased on October 1st 2021 so this is a partial year the very first year is a partial year you don't buy everything on January 1st, you buy it throughout the year. So the 80,000 still is true, the 10,000 salvage value of the five years is still correct. Our depreciation expense is still going to be the 80,000 minus the 10,000. That's still going to be 70,000 total. And we're going to use the five years as the useful life and divide it out again. So 70,000 divided by the five is still going to be 14,000. Everything's the same so far. Now watch, one thing we've done is the very first year is only going to be for three months. So here's what we need to do. We need to take the 14,000 times three divided by 12. We need to allocate it only for three months. We'll multiply the 14,000, the annual amount. We'll take the 14,000 times 3 divided by 12. So that gives us 3,500. So what's our book value? Let's start here. Our book value uh, starts at 80,000. 
our accumulated depreciation we know is going to be 3500 after year one and then the original cost I'll make it absolute here minus the accumulated depreciation so we start a little bit differently when we have a an asset we've only purchased for three months out of the full 12 months so the first year is only three months so we got a full year full year full year full year if we did stopped at 2025 we only have done four years and three months so the last year we're gonna to have to do it for nine months so we have to do the math 14,000 times 3 twelfths I'm sorry not 3 twelfths but 9 twelfths the remaining nine months because it would be January through September of 2026. So let me work quickly because you understand how this works. You understand that our depreciation expense is going to be 14000 each year. So for the next four years, it's going to be 14000 We're going to have to calculate it, the last one. This one is the 76500 the accumulated depreciation is the 3500 plus the 14000 and then uh, we'll take the 80000 make it absolute minus the accumulated depreciation all right so i've set it up so i can copy this down let me copy this down to 2025 and copy these two down to 2025 so so far so good i think we've got it correct so far we got 14,000 every year except the first year which which was 9 months. We need to take the 14,000 in year 6 times 9 divided by 12. Okay? So we need to finish that that's a partial year and a partial year, partial year. 9 uh, 3 months and 9 months make 12 months. So that's how it works. So let's add this up. We're going to add this column up. We should be at 70,000. Yes, we are. Let's bring this down and let's copy these two down we should have we stopped at 70,000 our book value is 10,000 what about year one depreciation well year one depreciation is not 14,000 the very first year depreciation is 3,500 and 3,500 so the journal entry when we're doing depreciation is always going to be depreciation expense and accumulated depreciation because this is a truck we we use accumulated depreciation dash truck so that's 3500 is the first year we'd make four years of entries at 14,000 and the last year would be an entry for 10,500 I hope this is helpful for you please give me a like please subscribe and we'll see you on the next video